What is good Tesla family, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I want to break down what's happening with Tesla Spy, Nvidia, the QQQ and a couple of other tickers. I'm also going to break down some big news that came out involving Tesla and Elon Musk as Musk has confirmed that Tesla will be delaying the RoboTaxi event. And also some big news involving the big bank earnings and data for today. But before I break any devil's information, before I give you guys any more information about Tesla and the markets, let me just mention a couple of things. I am firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. Every standard from Moomoo deposit $100, you're guaranteed 5 free stocks. If you deposit $1,000, you're guaranteed 15 in total. And the offer ends very, very soon in just about uh, two weeks from now. Anyways, for Tesla, we had some big news that just came out uh, about Elon Musk. He had this tweet that ended up happening just like a couple of hours ago. In response, this person known as Warren right here, they're basically uh, asking the question, what's really going on with the Tesla RoboTaxi event on August 8th? Did Elon Musk suggest a massive engineering change that left Tesla engineers speechless? Yes. Is the event delayed? <laughs> this guy's saying not yet. However, Elon Musk said this right here in response, okay? He mentioned that he requested what I think is an important design change to the front, and that's the extra time allows us to show off... Uh, uh, basically a few other things so he thinks that's actually very important for them to do this uh you know we don't know exactly what he's referring to what this change was we don't know yet but we're going to get some more answers as time goes on so this is making a lot of mainstream headlines right now about how elon musk confirms the tesla robo taxi event delayed due to design change this is making huge 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 news right now now bloomberg news reported that tesla is pushing the events to october uh it used to be basically uh, scheduled for August 8th. So we don't actually know exactly when it's going to be delayed. We just know that Musk is saying that they requested more time for it. So October could be the date in which the RoboTaxi event is going to be delayed to. Most reports are still saying that, but we don't know for sure. Once again, he has confirmed the exact timing, but he has confirmed that there is going to be a delay, and that that's finally some big news for Tesla. Finally, we got some confirmation from what you know mainstream news was saying, at least from him. So it took some time, but this is, once again, a good piece of news, and I just wanted to kind of continue off that. Now, on top of this, we have more news coming out right over here about how Tesla is quietly adding uh, three new climate settings on which that you could basically make phone calls and actually help with a lot of different things. Uh, there's also like uh, new changes being made to their dog mode and not to mention other things out there. So I find that to be very, very interesting. The latest software updates, uh, it's going to be a lot more useful during different settings and also other things like that. So uh, with that happening, I think that this will make things a lot better for users, especially in different situations. And there's going to be a lot of like reduction in sounds, at least during phone calls and such. So anyways, uh, that's another big update, at least for Tesla. Now I just want to focus on some other very, very important things. Uh, as a reminder for today, we don't really have much data coming out. So we just had retail sales, which are still kind of like so-so, still kind of flat. However, I just want to note that um, moving forward at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 30 minutes after the market opens today, we have business inventories coming out, not to mention some housing data. So it's all pretty minor. Then at 11.30 a.m., we have the 42-day bill auction. Once again, all minor data. A couple of things about the markets. Everything was like more positive, at least yesterday. Jerome Powell was giving a speech yesterday and once again said that the Fed is not going to wait for the 2% inflation to start cutting rates. They're going to be cutting rates before that. That's a actually very, very big confirmation from him. And it's actually something very important because of the lag effect of their policies. Now, some more news for people who are interested. We had a lot of big bank earnings come out. Bank of America did better than expected, once again, beating on EPS and revenue. Revenue was 83, uh, 83 cents a share, and then revenue, I'm sorry, earnings per share was 83 cents, and then revenue is at 25.54 billion above expectations, with their net profits increasing and good interest was made. Morgan Stanley also beats estimates on better than expected earnings, but the shares have dropped after the bank's wealth management division missed estimates on a steep decline in interest income. So that's something very important. EPS was a beat, revenue was a nice beat, but interest income was actually a little bit weak for them. That's part of why the share price is down. And then we also have Charles Schwab, same thing happened to them. Uh, once again, they their EPS and revenue were decent overall, but their interest revenue fell 6%. That's part of why the share price is also down for them. Anyways, that's it for earnings and talk about that. Now let's focus on Tesla stock. What do I see for this moving forward? So with all the news involving Elon Musk and the headlines coming out, watch this 255 area support. If we lose this, we're going to be going to the low of the day from yesterday all the way down to 252. 
And if that fills us, we have this big gap to fill all the way down to 248. So watch for a little dip right over there. If we do try to push higher, make sure you watch 258 as resistance. If that breaks, look for 260. So one thing I wanted to just call out again is that we had this pattern on Tesla from yesterday where when we open, we have a tendency of doing this. So you guys, if you guys look at this, for Monday of last week, we saw a Tesla pop and drop. We popped a bit and started to slow down on Tuesday. Wednesday, we saw a pop and drop. Thursday, we popped a bit. Then we start to dip. Friday, uh, we pumped very nice and started to slow down. And then for Monday, we pumped and then started dipping as time went on. Today, we're kind of pumping a little bit. Could we pump a little higher as possible? But then there's going to be a risk of us coming back down to fill that gap. And I think that's what's going to most likely happen to Tesla. So I'm eyeing from a technical standpoint, the most likely possibility is we kind of like pop a bit and then maybe continue down lower. And we have this big gap to fill down here. So I think Tesla might see a little downside. So just be careful it is due to see some consolidation. And I wouldn't be a surprise in my personal opinion. Now, SPY on the other hand is trying to push a little bit higher. But you want to be a little bit careful considering the way it's moving. We still have a, an ascending wedge on SPY. So it is possible we try to break out. Just know that if we, if we break past 564, watch 565. Or 563.7, if we break that, then watch 565. And if that breaks, we're going to be looking for a nice breakout to the upside. If we're bearish, you want to see it lose 560. If that breaks, we turn bearish, and there's going to be a bigger drop coming all the way down to like 558. What do I favor? As of right now, we're riding this big blue trend line. So we'll see if SPY could hold this. I have a feeling it might actually kind of like pop a bit and start to slow down. Because if you look at the last couple of days, right? Friday, we pumped and dumped. Monday, we pumped and dumped. We saw the same thing on Thursday. So we could pump a little bit higher all the way back up to about the, the mid 560s. Maybe go a little bit higher and then we'll see if we get a rejection, move a, make a move back down to like 560. So pump and dump is the most likely possibility. So be careful with that. QQQ has the same thing. We have this nice consolidation phase. We're getting bought up around 494 to 495 and we're getting resistance uh, rejections near 500. So I think we might just range trade, go back and forth and back and forth for some time. We could push higher towards that 500 area, then just reject back down. But overall, we're just kind of range bound, in my personal opinion, on the QQQ. So I think we're going to likely remain range bound for now. Uh, we could push a little bit higher and retest the higher 490, 490s, like at 499, then make a move back down. But I think that's the most likely possibility. Look at the last three days we pumped and dumped, pumped and dumped. Might be another pump coming before we reject and come back down to 495. That's the most likely possibility. For NVIDIA, same thing, we have a double top leg structure actually coming back down. I wouldn't be surprised if we retest our 200 EMA into the 129, so we come back down towards our targets to 126. So look for a little pump and then a dump as well. I'm seeing this all over. Bitcoin, same thing, pumped quite a bit. Uh, now we could be establishing a lower high right here. If we establish a lower high, then this may continue lower and start tipping to the 62,500 area. So just be careful with Bitcoin. For Apple, it's the same thing. Apple pumped, like look at the last couple of days, right? We pumped and dumped, pumped and dumped. We're trying to pump again. Could go a little bit higher, retest 230, uh, 5.5 to 237, and then start tipping lower. And I think we might be retesting 232.5, previous resistance becoming our next support. I'm going to go over just a few more guys just to make this video kind of quick. Um, IWM is trying to break out right now. I think that 220 is our target, still looking more bullish. Amazon is trying to break out as well. We'll look at resistance around 196. Could push a little bit higher, but I think we might consolidate still unless we break 196. Then look at 197.5. I think it's going to push a little higher than consolidate. Meta is also just consolidating at 497. If we get a bounce, look for a retest of 500 and 504. And if we reject, we'll be dipping all the way back down towards uh, basically 492. So look at 497 is our very, very key level and see if we lose that or not. I think it might consolidate a bit and there is going to be a risk of some downside. For Microsoft, we're going to likely consolidate going back and forth and back and forth. We could push for 456 as continuing to trade sideways. I find that's to be very probable. And then same thing with Google. I think we're just consolidating. We might actually see a little push on Google back up to about 190. There's a good chance it's reaccumulating. So look for 190, then some consolidation as the most likely possibilities. All right. So that's it for the video, guys. I want to kind of end it early from here. Thank you all so much for listening. Tesla has a risk of some downside. So look for a potential test of resistance and watch that gap below to fill. Okay. If we end up losing... 252 we're going to easily fill this gap all the way down to 248 that's more than a four point move which could be easily you know uh, shorted or even played with that being said thank you for listening have a great day guys and peace out